this budget lacks compassion and empathy. And the blame, I say this with all responsibility, lies at the doorstep of the Prime Minister. Sir, I'm a backbencher and I'm a tailender. I say this with all responsibility. The Prime Minister has been weakened. He has not been able to have a new cabinet, even though he's won for the third time. He has appointed the same ministers in the same portfolio. Had he chosen a member of this House as finance minister, that finance minister would have had the native intelligence of meeting constituents and understanding the problems of India, which is basically inflation and unemployment. Because this finance minister doesn't have a constituency, because this finance minister does not interact with people who go through daily problems of joblessness and price rise, this budget lacks empathy and, and compassion. I hope this finance minister, when she comes at 4 o'clock, doesn't compare herself with some of her predecessors who came from the other house. Their economic background is much different from hers. If she had empathy and, simple, and, and compassion, she would address the unemployment issue. There are 10 lakh vacancies in the government of India. This budget does not speak about filling those vacancies. The GST is a mess. The GST has been the, the, the multi-slab GST is the cause of inflation and price rise. She has not addressed it. In, in fact, they are levy GST even on prosthetics and artificial limbs and motorized wheelchair, which basically means this government is levying a tax on walking. It's, sir, we are one of the under, most underinsured countries in the world. This government levies 18% GST on insurance premium for health and life. Shame, shame sir. Shame. shame. This has to be withdrawn in this budget, sir. Sir, further, there have been students who have taken student loans who can't repay it because of the unemployment crisis in India. There has been no waiver or write-off or relief for those who have taken student loans. And the ELI scheme as best is woolly, sir. Sir, this government has no compassion and no empathy because it's divorced from the realities of India. They, even their core constituencies are now complaining about them because they've removed indexation. By removing indexation, what you have really done is you are not giving the benefit of, 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 of buffering yourself against inflation. You go read the social media post. Your own core constituencies are criticizing you. This government is a fatigued government. This government has got malaise. This government has no new ideas and no freshness. And they talk about giving 17,500 rupees as tax relief. That translates to 47 rupees a day. What can you buy for 47 rupees a day except for a geo recharge? Nothing else can be bought for 47 rupees a day other than a geo recharge. Sir, this budget must be rejected by this house because it lacks compassion and empathy. Thank you very much.